Hi guys, this is Inval Innovation YouTube channel. In this video, we will see about how to create mock service using Caratanity. We will see why we need really the mock service. Let's take you are creating a library management system. Here in this library management system, you might have a library API which talks to the database which is assigned to library and then it will get all the library related data and this library api might also talk to another microservices for example here in this case it will talk to another api named book api and here this book api get all the book relevant information from the database so here if you try to test this library api you need to make sure you have all the record data available in the book api database and also need to make sure this book API is available all the time in the dev environment and you also need to make sure the right version is available in that particular dev environment to make sure this testing goes through but what if you can able to make this testing independent of book API that's what we can achieve with the help of mock service so here in this case what we can do is we can use this mock service to create integration automated testing we will use the Caratanity mock server and this mock server will replicate all the endpoints whatever they are in the book API what are the different advantages since this is a mock server you can make sure this mock server is always available at least available right before starting the automated testing uh, you can add this mock server as part of your automated test suite so that whenever you are running the automated test suite this mock server also starts up and second one is you can stop any request and response as you need so here you can test any scenario but if you have a mock service then we will always have a surety that the data which we require to test different scenarios will be always available in the mock service and there is advantages even in the user interface let's take your user interface team and you want to test your uh, user interfaces so every user interfaces relies on a backend services just to persist information or to retrieve the information so here in this case for example if you are creating automated selenium testing for the user interface here in this case we need to make sure that corresponding services are always up so here the user interface might talk to more than one service in that case you need to make sure all the services are up for running this automated test so here we can stop all the microservices which this particular user interface relies on with that being said we will try to create mock services using Caratanity. the coding for this will be available in my github repository the link of which i have provided in the description first i have created a folder named server mock and uh, Caratanity standalone jar is the only requirement so first i will create a mock server for book so here i will create book mock dot future first we will start with writing a scenarios so we can start with writing the future so here we can start with uh, the heading for this particular feature file so that can be given as future colon and here i will just put it as this is book mock server first we will try to create a slash books get method which you can mock the response by hard coding a json file so here to create a new method or new endpoint create a scenario so here scenario you need to give path matches so here we need to make sure the path if the path matches whatever we are giving here books and we also need to check this is a get method so we can use logical operator and and method is get now we have uh, written a scenario whenever there is a request comes into this mock service which has the path slash books and then if it is a get method then the control will come inside this scenario for the statements inside the scenario we can either use the gherkin syntax or else you can use a simple asterisk so here in this case to make it more simple i will use asterisk and you can use define so here you can use def as define to define the response status as 200 you can mark any response status as you wish here i will uh, give the response so to give the response back from this particular endpoint so you need to define the response define response and here i can give the json file here directly or i can read from the json so to make it really simple with our first books books call success 
So first we have created a simple rest endpoint which is slash books and it, this is a get method. Next thing what we need to do is we need to download the Kareta standalone jar. So to download the Kareta standalone jar, go to the Kareta GitHub repository, click releases. Once you click releases, you can able to see the latest version is 1.21 RC and uh, expand the assets and here you can download the Kareta 1.2.1 RC1 jar. The file is downloaded. So if you can copy and paste the jar file here, we can easily start this. Go to terminal, new terminal. So here enter the command java if and jar and then here you need to give the Kareta jar and then here we need to give our mock future. So here in this case our mock future file name is bookmark dot future and then next we need to mention the port in which this application is gonna run so here in this case 5000 this application starts now and our server is up so localhost 5000 and then after that i will invoke the particular endpoint which is books and this is get so whatever we give here in the browser that is gonna be the get I can able to see the response success that is book call success. Instead of giving the string here, we will try to mark the JSON. So to do that, I will try to create a new folder. Here I will paste all the JSON files. So I will name this as data. So here I have created a sample data for this purpose. So I will create a new file named book.json. So here just read this particular JSON here. Read. And here you need to give the path. So the path is data slash books dot json. So now we have marked this book dot json. Now we will restart this server. Now if you try to refresh this URL, you can able to get the json, whichever we have given in the books dot json. Now with a simple three lines, you have created a endpoint which marks this particular books dot json. I will copy this scenario here instead of path matches books I will use path match books and then the method is get and I can also add param exist name so here this is not path param this is query param so we need to make sure this query param is sent that's when this particular scenario will be invoked so here what I can do is I will start with creating a simple string so I will define it as content book title plus param value and then the parameter name is name so I can give it as param value of name and then next what we can do is we can define our response status which we have seen earlier so the response status is gonna be 200 here because this is success response you can define your own response headers so for example if you want to add the response headers you can able to do that by defining this response headers so here i will mention the content type as application.json in the header next if you want to simulate a response delay you can able to simply do that by defining response delay here in this case i need to make sure uh, this endpoint has a response delay of four seconds so here this is millisecond now we can use uh, a UID here. This looks like a JavaScript function and then inside that we can write our Java code. So for that I will try to create a background here. Background is nothing but if you want to make use of some functions or some global variables accessible to all the scenarios which are going to create in this particular feature file you can write those things in the background. And in the background I am defining UUID. Star def UUID and uh, here i will give this as a function if you know even java and javascript this is more like amalgamation of both java and javascript so function and here inside this you need to return java dot util dot uuid dot random uuid so here i will just try to make this as a string so to make this as a string i will 
add a string value to this this can be empty string so here in this case we have defined uid and this uid gets the data from java.util.uid and this uid is random uuid so now we will try to use this uuid here as id so define we will define another value first we have defined content here in this case we will define id this can be any value here i am just putting it as id and here inside this i will call this uuid function so whenever this line number 16 executes it will call this particular function and it creates a random uuid and then that will be assigned to this particular id here now create the response here the id which we are we are going to create is a random generated id uuid so this will be always different hash and uh, parenthesis id so if you try to invoke like this then this id will be replaced here we can also use the content which we have created in the line number 12 hash content now we have created another rest endpoint that rest endpoint is book path and then the method is get and then if there is a param exist which is name then this particular scenario will be called so here we will go to the browser here instead of books we will use book and then param is name and then name is java so here one key thing to notice we will need to always make sure we have space before and after you collect so here i have and given space after you collect response we missed s in response stop the server restart the server now go to the endpoint book title java and here we will also get a different uid each and every time if we execute this again i will get a different uid so this is how we can create a response which looks dynamic now we will try to see about path param so we will create a path param here so here in this case path matches the path matches is slash book slash id id is the path param here and the method is get but here in this case i want to make use of the state so for that i will try to create a global state the global state will be present in the background so i am defining a new state that is define books so here i defined the books just always make sure you have the space before and after the eucalent so here i have defined the book state now we can go inside this path matches book we can see whether the books has this particular path params id define result equal to path params dot id we have the path params as id so this id will be nothing but the id which we are getting here and then here books is the object which we have declared here so this book is a dictionary object if you are familiar with python and this books will be something like map if you are familiar with java so here if there is a books with particular id present in this book state that we will be getting in the result so here we can add this particular result to the response so here i will declare the response headers as content type and application json and then the response is def responses result if this books has this particular path param id value then we will be getting the response as this particular result what if the books doesn't have this path param id we can use eval keyword to check whether this result is empty or not so eval result is empty then we can abort with the status 404 so for that i will try to create a global function define abort with status i'm creating a function here and the function and this function takes two parameter one is status and then the next one is data so the data is the response and the status is the status which we want to send as part of this particular endpoint response we can make use of the karata functions here karata dot set so you can use the response status as the status and then next karata dot set the response as content which is nothing but the data lastly we can abort this with karata dot abort now we have created a global function abort with status which takes two parameter one is status and the next one is data and here you can supply any status as you wish and that will be part of response status and you can supply any data that will be part of the content and the content will hold the data whichever we are sending if eval the result is empty then i can just pass 
404 to the abort with status we know it takes two parameter first one is first one is the response status 404 and then next one is book data not phone stop the server and then run the mock server again now remove the param name and then here i will just give path param as that one so here we got the response content and the book data not found so book data not found is the data which we are sending here to this abort with status so here we got that as the particular value now we will try to add data to this state how we can do that we can try to simulate a post method which acts like a data being persisted to the state so to do that I will create another scenario here in this case I will try to make use of this particular scenario whichever we have created copy and paste it so here instead of get it is post and then here you can even check whether the header contains some information or not for example here you want to simulate if the header doesn't contains any authorization so you can use that here header contains so here I am just adding auth and then the next one is secret. Here if the path matches book and id it will come here and the method should be post because here we are using and logical operator and here also we are checking if the header doesn't contain any secret authorization. First we will try to print the request so we can print the request and then define a book object define book equal to request and now we have assigned request to the book variable and then define so here we can you make use of the uid function whichever we have created so this will generate the random uid and then next book dot id equal to this book request whatever we have can append the id to it add this book data to the global state so the global state is books and uh, id the book now we will just put the response equal to book what if you want to make sure you want to have the same response header for each and every scenario so here in this case we can remove the response header from each and every individual scenarios you no need to define individually instead of that you can define on a background so this will be accessible across all the scenarios which are present in this particular feature file so to do that you can use the configure keyword configure response headers is equal to content type application json now we have configured response header so this response header will be common for all the scenarios present here now we have created a post scenario it will save this book information to the global state and that can be retrieved as part of this get request now we will try to test this functionality stop the server and then start the server again so for this i need to use curl command or postman or insomnia whatever you want because here you can't use browser to send the post so i have already created a curl command now we have this curl command here this curl command is a post we have given post method content type application json and then we are supplying the request and then we are calling this particular endpoint now if i try to execute this here we are getting the request whichever we sent so that is the name java publish date ispn in addition to that we also got the id this is a random uid we can copy this uuid and go to the browser and here instead of one send this uuid now you can able to retrieve the value whichever you have saved in the state now if you try to compare this so this is the post response we got and if you try to use the same id here for this get we are getting the value whichever we are saved in the books state so by this way we can simulate data which we want now we have seen about get with query param with path param and then we also seen how to create a global functions and we have seen how to create dynamic response and static response and we also seen about how to make use of the state or to save a book and then retrieve the book as part of get response now we will define a default function what if the endpoint doesn't match we can write a default function here so to write a default function just write scenario and then print request define response status 
as 404 that is not found and then we can define the response as content type not a valid url we are trying to provide any different endpoints which doesn't match with any of the existing scenario here this particular scenario will be called because we don't have any condition here now if we try to run this server again and then here go to the endpoint here instead of book i will just put it as some gibberish so here we got content not a valid url last we will see about how to create a delete method and then the method is delete instead of get we can define to delete u colon to books dot path params so here we are trying to get the value from the book state so path params dot id so this is the data which we are going to delete and then we will check if this to delete is empty or not we can use eval if to delete then we have already created this abort with status this abort with status takes two param 500 book is already deleted because if this value is not found then that means this book is already deleted or not found we can write it as delete books dot path params dot id so this will delete this particular index value data from this books map so this will delete this particular book object from this books map now after this we will define the response status as 200 that means we have successfully deleted and then here we can even use the kareta functions directly here so even just create define after scenario whenever we use this print keyword this will not be printed in the kareta log so if you want to log anything directly here in this kareta log you can use kareta dot log function so here i will create a function this after scenario is a function here inside the function i will write it as kareta dot log and then here book success fully deleted path params dot id diff response equal to to delete this is the data which we have deleted so we have supplied a uh, response equal to to delete rerun the server again now we can run the same post again now we have created a response and if you see here we have using the print keyword so because of which request will be logged here but the request won't be logged in the kareta.log because we are not using kareta.log if you want to print to the kareta.log you need to use this the kareta.log function so we can delete this particular id and now we can go to the browser and we can cross check whether this is really created or not after that i will try to invoke the curl command with delete method this is successfully deleted if i try to execute this again we got book data is not found that is because we have used delete method to delete this particular object from the book state so this book object is no longer found in the state so now we got the content book data is not found whenever we try to use the same id for which we got so now we have seen how to create a mock service with a karetanity so now we will see how to enable cross origin resource sharing for all the endpoints we have declared here so to do that you can define a configure cors equal to true in this case we have created a after scenario we can even define this after scenario globally configure after scenario have our global after scenario so here for this global after scenario we can write any function so here i will try to write a simple function if it is a multiple line then you can use this three double quotes if it is a single line you no need to use this Double, three double quotes you can write everything in a single line so here in this case i am writing kareta dot sit so here i can simulate the response delay i will put it as 200 plus math dot random we are using the math dot random java function and uh, into 400 and now for each and every scenario this after scenario will run so this will simulate 
or random uh, response delay because of the method at random function what if you want to make this as an image so create a docker file create a file named docker file and then here i will use the base image as open jdk so from adapt open jdk and then here the tag is open jdk 11 and then the tag is alpine slim and you will copy everything here from here to the image and then we use the command exec now we have created a docker file with this we can able to even create a docker image and you can run this docker image wherever you wish so here we have used open jdk open jdk 11 and then so here we can copy everything whichever present in this folder to the image after that we can use command execution to run this in the port 5000 enter the command docker build hyphen t create a mock this is the image name and then dot we are trying to create an image here based on the docker file which we have here docker run hyphen p to run this in the port we can use the 5000 port 5000 colon 5000 and then here tcp karita dot mark karita hyphen mark this is the name which we have given for this image this is the name we have given here so i i am using the same image name here now I execute this we have created image and we are uh, starting that image in a container this container is now running now we can go to this url and we can see what happens you can see the books response yes everything is working fine in this case we are not even running this in our local we are just running in the containers thanks for watching for more technical videos subscribe to this channel if you like this content like this video